25 out of 30 would score around the average of their amelias. And then maybe you get like two out of 30 that score like below, like pretty poorly. And then you get three out of 30 that score way above. So occasionally I've had people where they get like two twenties on their NBMEs for step two, and then they get like a 244 and they're like celebrating. Okay. I had one girl where she was scoring like two sixties on most of her NBMEs. She had a, she had three NBMEs in the two seventies and she had a single NBME that was 259. It was like one of the earlier NBMEs she sat. Uh, this was like four years ago. Okay. And so those, the scores were even higher at that point because uh, of score inflation that's continuing. But she ended up getting a 259. And she was devastated, like understandably so. But it taught me that the lower boundary is real and it's possible. It's very, very annoying that the NBMEs don't lie. And I, I kind of was like, look, like, you did technically have a 259 on one of the MMEs, which means that that would have been your USMLE score had that NBME been your form that day. And that's what happened. That's like one anecdote from like four years ago. But, you know, occasionally people score really high. I've seen that also.